Hey, well, good morning, Big A, coming to you live. I'm in my backyard today. Hope you guys are enjoying your morning. Happy Good Friday. You know, this is the most important holiday that there are for Christians today. Without uh, this, there'd be no hope. And so I want to wish everyone out there this morning a great Good Friday and a happy Easter. Hope you're having a good morning. It is beautiful in Nashville this morning. It's a little cool. Uh, put my jacket on this morning, but I just wanted to tell you guys, first of all, happy Good Friday. I want to tell you a quick story. Hopefully this won't take too long and maybe you'll find it interesting. I titled this, Do You Enjoy Your Occupation? And let me tell you why I say that. I've been so encouraged and blessed over the years to have jobs that I've enjoyed. And when I didn't enjoy them, I sold the business and I did something else. I just think life is too short to be out there doing things that we don't really enjoy. And about nine years ago, I retired for the third and final time. Robin said, you've retired more than the law allows, and which is probably true. But she says, today I'm working harder than I've ever worked in my entire career. And the reason is, is because I enjoy this more now than anything I've ever done. I'm privileged to be a life and business coach. And we have mastermind groups that I get to facilitate on a daily basis. And I just love our community. I mean, it's just so fun. And I get an opportunity to get up each and every day and go out, hopefully, and make a difference in the lives of other people. And it's just a privilege to be able to do that. And I hope you're able to do something that you enjoy as well in your occupation. Well, I want to tell you a quick story that happened about six years ago, actually, this month. Uh, I decided to do the mastermind groups and someone came to me and they said, hey, you need to do a podcast interview and that will be a great way to share your message and what you're trying to accomplish. And I said, all right, I'm all in. That'd be great. But I said, what is a podcast? And they started laughing <coughs> and they said, you got to be kidding me. You don't know what a podcast is. I said, listen, I've been in the bricks and mortar space for 35 years. I've not done this online world and forgive me, but I don't know what a podcast is. And they started laughing and they set me down. They explained it to me. And I said, well, which podcast do I get on? And they said, well, there's a guy that started that's pretty hot right now and you need to check him out. His name is John Lee Dumas and he has entrepreneur on fire. And I said, who's on fire? They said, John Lee Dumas. And I said, okay, I'll check it out. So I Googled it and found out his email address and I emailed him my story. And I said, uh, hey, I'd love to be your guest. Well, everybody told me I wasn't going to have any luck getting on there whatsoever. They said, everybody wants to be on this show. But he only does one a day and there's no way that you're going to get on there. And I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. So he emailed me back and he said, hey, I want you to be my guest. I love your story. And so I got on and I did that. It was my very first podcast. And it's a very popular show. They get over a million downloads a month currently. And uh, I just feel very fortunate to have been his guest. Well, immediately my schedule filled up. I got 15 one-on-one -on -one clients immediately. And I thought, man, I'm liking where this podcasting is going. And so I continued to do podcast. And John Lee Dumas, Entrepreneur on Fire, was my first interview well, I look back now and I tell you this just for context, not to boast in any way, but we're approaching 2,000 podcast interviews that I've done now over the six-year period. It even makes my throat tired when I hear myself say that sometimes. But it's been just a real blessing to be able to share our story of how to live a successful and significant life over these past six years. And I encourage you, if you've got a story to tell, to get on podcast, it's a great uh, tool to use to share your story and to grow your business. Well, what I want to tell you about today is my fifth episode on Entrepreneur on Fire went live today. And I'm sharing a story about a product that we created called the Mastermind Playbook. And it's to help you understand how you can create, grow, and scale a mastermind yourself. Now, that's very intimidating to a lot of people. They're like, I've heard the mastermind concept, but I don't really know if I could do it personally. Well, it took our team about a year to develop this product. And we worked through it step by step to help create a framework by which you can lead a mastermind group yourself. And people are intimidated. They're scared. They're like... 
I don't have all the answers. I don't have everything that I need in order to lead a mastermind. That's just not true. There's industry specific masterminds out there that you can create. There's masterminds in its totality like we have created to really dive into your personal life, your professional life, and even your spiritual life. And we teach you how to do that step by step. There's about 34 videos, professionally done videos. There's also uh, about 90 to 100 tools, templates, and worksheets that work you through every single step that you need to create your own mastermind group. And you're like, Big A, why would I want to create my own mastermind group? Well, for a number of reasons. First of all, it helps transform lives. You know, Jim Rohn said we are the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. Well, you've got to get around people that can take you to the next level, and you can only do that if you're intentional. If you really surround yourself with quality people, then you can get good information that can help take your life to the next level. And that's what the Mastermind Framework does. It really gives you perspective, it gives you access, it gives you resources, it gives you the ability to take your life to the next level. You know, when I joined Dave Ramsey's group, I didn't really like to read. Now, this is two decades ago. And he said, I don't care if you like to read or not. You need to read because you just don't learn through osmosis. I mean, you've got to read. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got that old cough. Everything's blooming out here. You, you've got to fill yourself with great information. You've got to get around people that can really take you to the next level. So for your personal well-being and your professional well-being, you need to be in a group yourself. But it's a great add-on to your industry, and it's a great revenue stream that you can really do well with these mastermind groups. And you can create one, two, or three groups, or you can do like we've done. We're about to launch our 19th group. Well, it's something that is just beneficial in so many ways. You love your occupation. You love transforming lives. You love making the revenue. I'm like, why would anybody not want to participate in mastermind groups and then benefit from the revenue? Well, I've put a link below that uh, gives you the interview, and I hope you enjoy it. Maybe it'll add some value to you. It'll tell you a little bit more about the process and if you'll listen to the interview. But also, and I try not to do this often, but I would like a little help in this. And if you don't mind sharing it, if you find value in it, if you know of people in your community that are looking to get involved in a mastermind or looking to start a mastermind themselves, I think this playbook will be really instrumental. And we've been so blessed and fortunate. Uh, we've had so many people endorse it, like Ray Edwards and John Lee Dumas and Dave Ramsey and Inc. Magazine even reached out and did a full-page article and a story about the playbook. It's really an amazing tool. Ray Edwards said it was the best course he's ever taken in his career. And many of the people that have bought it are going through that exercise, and they're enjoying it as well. We don't just ask you to buy the course and let you go on your own. I personally coach you for three months. I walk with you, hold your hand, teach you to be sure that you are successful at being a mastermind facilitator. So anyway, I just wanted to share the story with you. I'm so humbled and honored that John Lee gave me the opportunity six years ago to be his guest, and then he's invited me back every year for the past five years to be his guest. And I'll give a shameless plug just for a second. My first interview made his top 10 list. It's number five out of 2,200 interviews. It's the fifth most downloaded episode in his career. And so I say that with great humility, and it's because of our story. It's certainly not because of me. But we just encourage people to live not only a successful life, but a significant life. And that's what I want for each and every one of you. So if you get a chance, check it out. The link is below. Check out the interview. And if it's of value to you and you think it would be to somebody else that you know, uh, have them listen to it. And we hope to help them. Well, listen, go out there today. Have a great Good Friday and have a wonderful Easter holiday. You guys have a great one. You're the best. We'll see you.